Way to go, Ben. So we're just heading out for a 45 minute bike followed by a little 15 minute run because tomorrow morning Josh and I are going head to head in our local sprint triathlon. The Ironman athlete versus the short course athlete. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. It's great to see you again and let's get going. Well done, sir. Alrighty, let's go run. Whee. I did not feel good at all. So we are exactly eight days away from Ironman Texas, and yes, I'm doing a sprint triathlon tomorrow. If you don't know the distances of a sprint triathlon, it's a 600 yard swim, followed by a 14 mile bike, and then a 3.1 mile run. So it's not too long, but to be honest, I haven't done an actual like race race in about 15 months. So the goal for tomorrow is to have fun, enjoy it, and uh, shake off the cobwebs because I gotta remember how to do a triathlon after all. So we'll see. Could be very bad, could be very good, but we'll have fun. But it's time to race. Technically now thinking about it, this is the first race of the season. The season opener. The epic showdown between Ben and Josh. <laughs> so silly. So we got everything laid out, and I'm the type of guy that likes to bring too much. I like to be over prepared. For once, I think, I'm actually not bringing too much extra stuff, which is baffling to me. But um, no, we're ready, we're excited. Gonna go throw all this stuff by the back door, so we're ready to go, because we got an early start. Gotta be out the door at 5 a.m., waking up at four, so I better head off to sleep now. But I'll see you guys in the morning, and it's gonna be a good day. Good morning everybody, it's race day, and uh, to be honest, I didn't sleep very well. I think I was just constantly concerned that it was going to be, uh, that, you were gonna lose? that I was going to miss my alarm, not that I was going to lose. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have some breakfast now, going for a banana, oatmeal, and a bagel. That's the staple, kind of just practicing for next week at Texas, just seeing if it works well, which it has in the past. But um, yeah, we're gonna get ready. Gotta head out soon. Get ready to race. Actually quite impressive, I'm not gonna lie. That's well done, sir. It's like four bananas high. Yeah, that's pretty good. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we, should go to, we should go to Cold Stone today. Oh. That's what we're racing for. What, the loser doesn't get me? The <laughs> <laughs> loser fights. The loser does. has to sit there and walk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Little bit of early morning bike maintenance going on behind me. Freshly waxed chain for Mr. Josh. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so you know how last night I said that I thought I wasn't bringing too much this morning? No, I've got it all set out here. I think it looks like a lot of stuff. Look at all that. Wheels, backpack, bike. I don't travel lightly. As I said, I'd rather be overprepared then underprepared. But let's go fill the car up, 
because it's getting close to 5 a.m. now, and we need to get on the road. Good morning. And we are underway. We got just over an hour drive this morning. Gonna get there around 6 a.m. The car is loaded. We're ready. We got Josh. We got Dad. And let's go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. There once was a ship that went to sea. The name of the ship was the Belly of Two. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. You take one damn, pass it around. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer. All right, so we've arrived this morning. We're about a couple hours out from the race. We're just heading over to pick up our packet, but we're excited. We've already started to see friends and all the teammates, so it's gonna be a great morning. We're excited. How are you feeling, Josh? Feeling good, better than we were earlier. <laughs> great morning, actually. The temperature is really nice. Good sing along in the car does the trick. Yeah, we had a great time in the car. I don't think uh, I don't think Dad was too impressed with our singing, but we oh, we had a great time. <laughs> yeah, it it was pretty heinous. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, we're gonna pick up our packets, get everything set up in transition. Sweet. Oh yeah. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. There's a race coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, it's coming Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're getting close now. This is race number one of the Trilet Park series. Absolutely love these series. The people that run it, absolutely great people. But uh, I'm gonna warm up now. We got transition all set up. We're feeling amazing. I am so happy because I've seen all my friends that I haven't seen in a very long time. It's a great morning though. We're feeling good. Water's at 76 degrees, which is a bit hot, but still wetsuit legal. So I think we're gonna wear the wetsuit. But I'm gonna go do a little run warm up. I'm so happy. Absolutely love this. This I'm in my element right now. Love it. Love it. All right, we're getting ready to start now. This is gonna be so painful. Let's go have some fun. One minute, 30 seconds to start. <laughs> minute, 30 seconds to start. <laughs> Way to go, Josh. Way to go, Ben.
very hard. <laughs> That's mile one, 531. Pretty much flat. We got two more miles now, and it's pretty hilly. Let's go. It's tomorrow. Thank you. Oh. Look. Let's see what we got in these legs. This is really painful. We're going to have to get through it. This is so painful. Ah, oh. oh, two, five forty three. It's so early. Ow. It's Josh. Wait! What? Watch out for the last Thank you. Good job, Gary! Yay, Ben! Let's hear it for number four, Ben Holiday. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <sighs> Go Josh. All the way, all the way. But he did wait like five K or six K or something. Yeah, well I knew there were hills coming, but I was like, you are gonna hang on for DLF on those hills. Yeah. The can't go. I think I averaged like 350. Yeah, I did. Don't tell me Josh is gonna fall on that transition out of all the Number 127! So that's the race all done. We both did very well. I did end up coming out on top, but to be fair, I had a tri bike, Josh had a road bike, and we about swam and ran the same. We so, had a little science experiment, and everybody always asks for a hilly course, should you ride a road bike or a tri bike? And Ben was three minutes faster on the bike at 40 watts less. So I think I think we've proven that tri bike is always the faster bike for a uh, yeah for a triathlon. I agree. So I think next time we do it on equal equipment and we have one heck of a scrap on the run. But uh, that was good fun, very hard. But um, Off to the races next weekend and the yeah, weekend after. We got Texas next weekend. We're just waiting for the award ceremony now. We're both up there on the podium, one and two. So it was a great day. Did we enjoy it? Absolutely, good fun. We had a good time. In second place, Josh Bird. Yeah. Yeah. And in first place, Ben Tolliday. Oh, what a morning. That race was so painful, but so much fun. Josh and I, he did a great job. There's no hard feelings whatsoever. We're both very competitive, but we said at the start, there'll be no hard feelings. We're just out there to have fun and compete. And we both did a great job. Really happy with this morning and a great way to dust off the rust for Texas in just seven days. Got a lot more coming for Texas because it's next Saturday, wow. I'm so excited for that. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one.